this polymer with NH then CH2 CH2 NH CO that will be one repeat unit of the polymer because we know that the NH will combine with the CO and the CO will combine with an NH so obviously these have to be the terminals so in condensation polymerization the terminals have to be such that we can see that they will combine with each other the terminals so that's a very good hint for condensation polymerization the terminals have to be such that we can see that they, they are combining so this will be one repeat unit of the polymer very easy condensation polymerization now let's talk about uh, so uh, okay before that yeah this is called a poly as a polyamide this is called a polyamide because this is the amide group amide group amide group and then like yeah so this is called an amide group and we have n water molecules released so this is called a polyamide because there are several amide groups that are linking these molecules together so this is called a polyamide so now we have done polyesters and we've also done polyamides so we know the two two main types of condensation polymers that we are going to be talking about polyesters and polyamides now um, so and n molecules of h2o again have been released so yeah so now what i wanted to talk about uh, what was important was that um, these will always combine in a specific order the in condensation polymerization the monomers have to combine in a specific order because you can see that this amine will not react with another amine obviously because uh, these NH2 groups can't condense with each other can't can't do a condensation condensation reaction with each other so these um, an amine cannot react with another amine and similarly the dicarboxylic acid cannot react with another dicarboxylic acid because then there will be no condensation happening so uh, therefore, the, uh, one amine will always react with one carboxylic acid, so that will be the order in which they react. The carboxylic acid will react with the amine, the amine will react with the carboxylic acid. So, this will be the order. So, in condensation polymerization, there will always be one order because of the condensation reaction taking place. In addition polymerization, however, the order doesn't matter. Like an ethene can combine with an another ethene, no problem. Uh, a, a vinyl chloride can combine with a vinyl chloride and then with an ethene no problem so because in the end what we are getting are, uh, we, what we are getting is cc bonds so these will still remain the same so even if the styrene combines with uh, ethene there, there will still be cc bonds so and if the styrene combines with another styrene still cc bonds so uh, in, in addition polymerization the order in which they combine doesn't really matter but in condensation polymerization, the order is very important because obviously it's the order which is causing the condensation to take place in this reaction. So we are done with condensation polymerization as well. Now let's move forward. So we did polyamides, synthetic polyamides. So synthetic polyamides are nothing but the poly polyamides which are made in factory, in industries. And uh, so we, uh, there are two main uh, types of that we need to know about nylon and kevlar they are two examples of synthetic polyamides we don't need to know what are their monomers but what we need to know is that uh, they are very important they have very important properties because um, they, because of the bonds they form so now let's see let's say this is a typical polyamide ch2 ch2 nh Let's take CO, CO, no, not, not CO, sorry, we had a benzene, so let's make the benzene, let's take that example, which we did, there's no problem in that example, I think the structure of uh, nylon is quite similar to this, I'm not really sure, but yeah, so this is a typical polyamide, right, this is one repeat unit of a polyamide, now, if you, if you notice, uh, let's just say, Let's just make another repeat unit of this polyamide. 